how, in your opinion, and you've touched on a lot of these things, how do you build a strong relationship with specifically reporters and editors at the trades, in your opinion, and in your experience? Well, uh, first off, pitch good work. Uh, pitch good work. Uh, don't waste my time. And you're already, you're already one step up. But if you reach out and you're, you're sincere in, in just wanting, wanting to try to get coverage, uh, knowing the challenges that are in front of you to try to get that coverage, but uh, you really kind of, you know, just, just reach out. I, I like, I love making connections. I've, I've made some really good friends uh, that are PR people. And yes, I think that maybe may come a surprise to some, but there are some really great PR people out there who are just really good people too. And I love to get to know them. So uh, if it, if it means just hopping on a call for five minutes or, or if, if we're, we happen to be in the same area together, I mean, I, I'm often in New York. I don't live in New York, but I do go there um, and, and go to our office. So uh, I, and you know, I love coming back out West. And uh, so if any place I can sit down in front of somebody or get on a zoom call or get on a regular call, I, I'm, I'm all for that. And I, and, and that's how you start a good relationship. You keep a good relationship going by, uh, continuing to do those things that I said, don't be a pest, uh, be, be sincere about what you're doing. Be confident in pitching the right thing. If you know, it's not a good pitch and you know, I'm not the right person and you've already made a thing for, uh, if you've already, we've already have, have a rapport, then go ahead and send it with the caveat. Okay. I get it. You may not cover this one, but I, you know, the, the client wants me to send it anyway, or if, you really, know, yeah. if, you're, if yeah. you really know it's crap, just don't send it. <laughs> <laughs>